Okay, welcome to the next five minute millionaire mentor money tip. Let's talk about credit score. Improving your credit score. Man, talk about a subject I wish they had taught me. You can start businesses from scratch if you have good credit. You save a lot of money on a home, you save a lot of money on cars. They now look at this when you're doing background searches for jobs, for business partners. People care about your credit score. I'm gonna show you techniques out of my credit mentor program. Some of you might be in the advanced credit mentor program. This is help people. There's a guy just wrote in 100 points increase in seven days. Now, there's a couple things you gotta know. Number one, I want you to understand the five component, the five parts of your credit score. All right, there's five parts. We'll think of it like a pie. And you could break this up in different ways. So let me just, I'm gonna do it a way that's easy to remember. One is utilization ratio. How are you utilizing your credit score? Are you using, I mean your credit, are you have a thousand dollar card, you put 90%, you put 900 bucks on it. What's your balance utilization ratio? Next you have the age. How long have you had these credit lines open? That's why you should be open on credit lines the day you turn 18 or even younger if your parents will do it with you. Okay, the age, it's not your age, it's the age of the credit. And we wanna look at the history, payment history. Everybody knows this one. If you miss a lot of payments, you're in trouble. You want to look at your types of credit. You don't just want to have one type of credit. You don't just want credit cards. You want maybe a bank loan for a car or a credit union. You want a home loan. You want a diversity of credit types. And then they look at inquiries. And these are more what they call hard inquiries. If you start applying too quickly for a whole bunch of loans or a whole bunch of credit cards, they freak out and this can drop your score or raise your score. Now I'm gonna give you a little ninja tip right here because one of the big things that can improve your credit is removing some negative payment history things. Write this down, write this, and if you're, this is more so um, for the US. So for those of you out of the US, it's a tad bit different. Um, looking at some of my notes I wrote down for non-US people, but in the US, CFPB, this is a government site, .gov, okay? CFPB, you can go in there, and if your payment history, maybe there's a reason, like I had my credit dropped once because they sent my bill to the, wrong, it was a doctor's office, sent it to the wrong home that I no longer lived at, it wasn't forwarded to me, so, they didn't get paid, they reported credit. My credit, I woke up, it was a drop 50 points. You could go to places like that, CFPB, and contest them and say, hey, it's not fair. I don't live there anymore. Boom, credit goes right back up. Okay, so there's some things that you might not be able to get removed, but that's, just, for those of you in the credit mentor program, it's on my website, it might not be open now, but we, there's more stuff, but I got five minutes of trying to get all this too. Um, so you've got the age of the credit, which can include the total number of accounts over here. So this can be type and number. Ideally, you want over 20 types of credit open. Different credit cards, bank line of credit, home mortgage, car payment, car mortgage. Um, you might want some like Shell gas cards, things like this. All these different types. Utilization ratio. Keep it around 8%. Pay off all but 8%. Keep a little bit on there, okay? Um, five and 24 rule and in inquiries with one bank, a lot of banks, within two years, 24 months, you only wanna apply for five different cards. So you need to rotate around and not all apply. Some good cards to start with. Um, if you're a beginner, okay? A beginner, the Discover It card. Suggested cards, discover it. If you're a beginner, if you have intermediate credit, okay, you could look at the Chase Freedom. And if you are advanced, 
you could look. There's a few ones. I the Chase Sapphire Reserve. Okay. Sapphire Reserve. All right, we're almost done with today's lesson. Number three. Good place to look up credit cards. U.S. Credit Guy. Uh, U.S. Credit. Let me write this out. It's a long thing. U.S. Credit Card. Guide.com. That's a G. U.S. Credit Card Guide.com. We'll be talking more on this subject. I hope you stay to get your black belt. This is a white belt introduction, but this is some good stuff in here I gave you. So I want you to leave below a comment to close out today's lessons. What's the main thing that you think will help you? Is it opening more lines of credit? Is it going to you know, this government site and cleaning up some derogatory stuff. What do you need? Okay, leave that as a comment. What's your weak link with your credit? All right, talk to you soon.